if I look like I just woke up. I did. <laughs> Wait until I tell you guys what just happened. I am so embarrassed. Okay, first, in order to tell you what just happened, let me take you back to yesterday and today, earlier today. So, yesterday I was not supposed to work, but the bartender was very sick. And everybody a group text and said, can anybody work my shift tonight? I have been up throwing up all night. Well, that night I was up all night as well, but I wasn't throwing up. My poor Ava bear was throwing up. She wasn't throwing up from a stomach bug though. She was throwing up because she had a very, very scary high fever. So I was trying to get medicine into her. She couldn't even take the medicine. Sorry for the bumps because her temperature was just so high. She couldn't even keep anything in. So I kept a whole bunch of wet wash cloths. <laughs> I took a whole bunch of wet wash cloths and set them all around her head to bring her temperature down a little bit. And I told her to just take tiny, tiny sips of the liquid Tylenol and then take a tiny sip of water. So finally she got it all down after like 15 minutes of taking tiny sips. So long story short, um, I really didn't want to have to go into work that next day because I was up all night with Ava cleaning up puke, you know, just typical mom stuff. When your kiddo is sick, you have to clean up and take care of your kiddo and you don't get much sleep because you're worried about them. So I had sent a message and I was like, if somebody else can take the shift, I would appreciate it. But if nobody else will, I'll take it because I know how horrible it is to go to work and be sick like that. Well, of course, nobody else could take the shift. So I took it. And of course, I was busy. And I mean, it was great. I made major money, which was awesome. But I didn't get out of there until after 1 a.m. And I didn't get home until almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I didn't fall asleep until like 3.30 in the morning after not having barely any sleep from the night before from Ava being sick. So this morning, you know, I only got a few hours of sleep and here comes another text message from work. Our new cook didn't show up. Can anybody come in and help cook over lunch? So of course, <laughs> my husband is off today and I said, listen, I would really rather not do it because I am dead tired to the world right now. I barely have gotten any sleep in two days and I was there until after one in the morning last night. So if somebody else can do it, great. But if not, I'll come in. Nobody else could do it. <laughs> so, and I know I look rough today, guys. Just bear with me. So, I went in and I cooked for two hours over lunch. And then, or no, it was like an hour and a half for lunch. And then the new cook showed up finally. She slept in four hours. <laughs> she slept in four hours after her alarm clock should have went off. I don't know how that happens, but I guess I really should talk smack after the story I'm going to tell you now. So I was able to finally get back home. So I get home and I take care of stuff around the house. And then I told my husband, I said, babe, I need to get a nap in. Like I'm seeing cross-eyed at this point and I have to come go diving tonight. Of course, I got to make a video for you guys because this is my only night off now because I've worked every other day and I got to work the next two nights. <sighs> so he's like, yeah, go ahead and try and get a nap and it's fine. Well, you know, when you have little kids and they have their friends over, I got a 20 minute nap in. That was it. So I was literally trying to open my eyeballs. Like I had one eyeball open <laughs> and I was like, I got to go to Dollar General and get the dog some new dog toys because he has been chewing my porch furniture. He's been chewing everything. And I think it's because he chewed up all of his toys. So I'm like, I'm going to run a Dollar General, get him some new chew toys so he stops chewing our stuff. And I'm going to go tanning. And then I'll be right back because I'm going to meet Beth early tonight for diving. He's like, okay, here's where it gets funny. So I text Beth and I'm like, I'm on my way to go to Dollar General. Take your time with whatever you're doing. Then I'm going to go tanning and then we'll meet up. And she's like, okay. 
I go into this healing place, guys, and I was like, 10 minutes is fine. Guys, I fell asleep in the tanning bed for an hour and a half. <laughs> for an hour and a half. Who does that? They never knocked on the door to wake me up. Nothing. My husband's texting me. Beth is texting me. Where are you? Are you okay? Why aren't you answering me? Because I'm snoring away in the tanning bed. <laughs> I was so embarrassed when I realized what happened. Like I jumped up and I'm like, you know, where am I? What's going on? And I'm like, oh my God, how long have I been here? I opened my phone up to all these missed calls, all these mixed test messages. <laughs> I threw my clothes on so fast and ran out the door. I was so embarrassed. Like, they, why did they knock on the door and be like, ma'am, you need to get out of the tanning bed. <laughs> oh my God. Like, you know you have no sleep when you pass out for an hour and a half on a hard plastic tanning bed and you're snoring away. I am so embarrassed. I'm not going back there for a while. Oh my goodness, that is so embarrassing. I hope that happens a lot there. I really do. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only moron that does that. Oh, thank God the bed shuts off by itself or I'd be burnt to a crisp. Anyway, guys, I'm going to be bath right now and we're going to go dumpster diving. <laughs> I can't with myself. I can't make stuff like this up. I truly can't. Anyway, I don't know where we're going, but we're going to search all the dumpsters and let's hope we can find some goodies. <laughs> all right, guys. First dumpster, Dollar General. we can't thank you out but we gotta be fast and paying attention here because we don't want to get caught here and then they start destroying so that is awesome guys we got so much yeah, health goods guys it's looking up deep something here. All the pop. Holy cow, guys. All that pop. Good, I just ran out of Sprite. That's what Ava was drinking when she was sick. Let's 
put this outside. That way we don't have to lift it. so much pop and we got two grab bags out of there i know one had medicine in it and i think some chips i don't even know what the other one had but we'll go through it together which is super exciting so now we're gonna head to a different town maybe two more towns we're not sure so cross your fingers and toes we find some more stuff all right guys we're in the new town this is dollar tree all right, let's go check Ollie's and Staples. Oh my God, guys. Oh my goodness, guys. I was so excited I shut you off. Look at this. Look at it. Okay. Toss that bag in. And don't I got it. two bags for you, just in case. Oh, goodness. <laughs> There's gummy bears over here. No, it's saying. Oh, oh, Look at all the candy in those containers and all that uh, check like trail mix back there. Oh my the god, this is insane. Look at the Pringles and the pistachios. <laughs> I'm like amazed. Oh, you don't have to know. Oh my god. Absolutely insane, guys. Like, I, I am never gonna believe the amount of waste these companies toss away. It's just crazy to me. This is crazy. the big boss. Yeah, I'll take that. Need another bag. 
guys, it is never ending. We just filled three whole bags and now we need to get another one because of all this. Look at it. It just keeps going. I am so glad we came here, guys. It just keeps going. I know. All that waste. Oh my goodness. He's done about the butt. More of these cookies. So many chocolate covered pretzels. I could not be an employee. I could do this. Either. I would be like, I'm coming back later. I know. Right? <laughs> oh, it just keeps like, never ending. <sighs> We're almost done. We can fill, finish filling that and then both of us can carry it. What are those things? Protein packages? Maybe beef jerky? I wouldn't either. Oh. oh my god, a whole case. Aha! Uh -huh. We got a whole case of aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Another aha. Uh -huh. I think that might be it. Bye. <laughs> I am so excited. This is straight insane, guys. Oh my goodness. Beth ran into the gas station. And I'm just like in freaking shock right now. I can't even believe it. I can't. We legit filled three 32 gallon bags plus two other bags. That's a lot of candy. Guys, I just stopped at the Dollar General. You see these two big boxes here? They are filled with fresh cut flowers. Uh, we didn't even know Dollar General sold those, but we figured it out must be left over for Mother's Day. So now we're at CBS, so let's go see if there's anything in here. Like oh man, it's stanky. It's stank. it looks like it's all pill bottles. Yeah, it sure does. The only downfall is they hide stuff in bags, but let's see magazines. Look at this car. Let me show you the car. It is absolutely crazy. Look at the car. We got soda on the floor. This bag just fell over. It's filled. We got flowers. Another 32 gallon. Another 32 gallon. And the whole trunk is filled. Like holy cannolis. But we weren't even going to come to this town, guys. We were going to go to a different town, but we were running close on time for Beth to pick up her mom so we decided to stay a little closer and wow am I glad nope. we did <laughs> oh my goodness I can't wait to show you guys everything we oh got laid goodness. out your floor will be and my whole basement's yeah, gonna, be gonna be filled covered. and that's gonna wrap up this dive which thank god because we don't got any more room <laughs> oh my goodness guys I have no words, and that does not happen very often. <laughs> it really doesn't. But this is absolutely insane, guys. It's a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness. It took me two hours to set this up. <laughs> and I just, I just, again, have no words. But I'm going to have to think of some because we got to get into this reveal. <laughs> So, you guys seen, we only went to three dumpsters. Three dumpsters. Two of which were a Dollar General, and the last one was a Staples. And, oh my goodness, the amount of stuff that was in that Staples dumpster, I am so happy we went to that town. Because I'm thinking, 
if we wouldn't have went to that town, there were no other divers out that night that we saw, at least. That may have all went to the landfill. So thank goodness that we went to that town because we weren't even planning on going there. Oh, my word. Anyway, so let's get into everything we got the other night at the dumpsters. Well, there is a big mess back there, too. That is all being picked up uh, by Miss Tara next week. So pay no mind to that. I just am limited with room because, honestly, we just have so much stuff to donate, which is balls. I love when that happens because if you are new here and you have never watched one of my videos before, I donate to about 100 kids in a school district. Uh, it goes through a church. They actually hand deliver the food to the kiddos, and it has to be... Um, you know, things they can get themselves. These are very young kids. They are in a very bad home situation, and sometimes they have absolutely no food. So the church actually hand delivers the food to these kids, and when I find stuff like this, it just brings me so much happiness because I know there's enough to get to all of those kiddos in that school district. So this is awesome. And then I also donate to the Women and Children Center, which is um, a place of refuge for women leaving an abusive situation. So this is also going to help a lot of kids there and a lot of women. So this is great. I am just so excited. And of course, my best friend and I do keep some things, but most of it, 95% of everything we rescue gets donated. So... With that being said, let's dive into everything we got at the first Dollar General. The very first Dollar General we went to, we kept you guys in the car because it was the middle of the day. Well, it wasn't the middle of the day because as you guys know, I slept for an hour and a half in a tanning bed. <laughs> I still can't believe I did that. I am so embarrassed. Anyway, I'm not going to talk too much today. I, I promise myself I'm not going to talk too much because I have to go to work soon. So I've got to breeze through this. But... We went to that Dollar General and it was about seven o'clock and it's still daylight here, obviously, when it's seven o'clock and we have never been caught at this dumpster. So I want to keep it that way. So I wanted to just get in, get out, get the stuff and leave. That way we didn't get busted because the only thing they destroyed in that dumpster was dog food. They actually emptied out a ton of dog food. That dumpster was probably three quarters of the way full with dog food. I mean, everything here is coated with dog food bits. So that's why we didn't take you out at that one. But don't worry, you're, you're going to see everything we got anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, we got some Nerd Sour, some Sour Patch Kids, Clorox Bleach Tablets, some Dollar General brand chocolate chip cookies, some Ho-Hos, Cherry Cheese Danish, Triple Chocolate Brownies, and it would not be a dumpster dive at Dollar General if we didn't find two boxes of Twinkies. <laughs> we are forever finding Twinkies in the dumpsters. We also got some iced lemon cupcakes. I know Beth loves these, so I will give Beth one and I'll donate one. One package of caramel ding-dongs. Two planters cheese balls. How many is in here? 80 pop ice. These are um, like freezer pops. We got some planters antioxidant mix. Starlight mints. The bag is actually open. There's not a bunch in there, but there's some. They're individually wrapped also. And then we also got a bag of Lifesavers uh, Winter Green. Of course, these are also open, but again, they are individually wrapped, so not a big deal. Moonlight Passion Body Mist. There's no sprayer, but that is not that big of a deal. You can open it up and put it like perfume on your wrists and rub them together and you're good to go. We also got two two liters of regular Coke for... 20 ounce bottles of orange vanilla, seven single bottles of Diet Coke, and another full 12 pack of Diet Coke. 
also got a Bella Villa Living. Uh, it's a mini planter diffuser with vanilla essential oils. I've never seen one of these before. That would even be a cute teacher gift to keep in like their classroom. So I might keep that. I don't know. Some Centra Multi Gummies for Women. This is an amazing donation. Some women's slippers. Men's slippers. Still has dog food in there. I'm gonna have to get all the dog food out. <laughs> And some men's size 10 tennis shoes, which of course they are coated in dog food crumbles. But I will get those all off and these will be an amazing donation. And that is everything we got at the first Dollar General. Now, let me move this out of the way and we'll get to the second Dollar General. Next, we went to another Dollar General and when we peeked our little nuggets in that dumpster, oh my goodness, you seen all the soda that was in there. But we got so much soda. So we got a whole six pack of the 20 ounce bottles of Diet Dr. Pepper, four full six packs of the 20 ounce, 20 ounce bottles of Sprite, plus five out of six pack, five six packs, full six packs of the Orange Fanta. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of soda. And then, also out of that dumpster, you seen me grab two grab bags, and I don't know what's in them. The one I could tell there was some chips and some medicine. The other one, I have no idea, I just know it was heavy. So let's hope it's not all garbage. <laughs> But let's dive on into these grab bags and see what we got. Grab bag number one, we got, ooh. A brand new water bottle. We got a Poopsie Rainbow Crush Glitter Slime. Oh, look at how cute the little sandals are. Little toddler size seven, eight sandals. These are a great donation for the women and children. So that's where those will go. Oh my goodness, look at the dinosaur sandals for the little boys. Size five, six. Hopefully the other one's in here somewhere. Oh, yep, there it is. All right, so we got matching sandals for a little boy too. Oh, this is great. Some bow tie pasta. That is an awesome donation. Some crayon apple juice. Ooh, what is this? A speaker. That is awesome. Little speaker with the uh, cable. Yeah, they mixed it all in with the garbage, so. <gasps> Ooh, this is amazing. Look at that. Some, oh, if I don't drop them. Disposable gloves. So, I know I said I wasn't going to talk, but we all know that's a lie. <laughs> I've had a million people ask, why don't you wear gloves? Ew. Because what you don't see is all the bottled water that we find in the dumpster, I keep in my trunk. And I have soap, I have antibacterial hand gel, I have antibacterial wipes, and I have paper towels, all which have come from dumpster diving. I don't buy any of it. And after each dumpster, we either use the hand gel, we either wash our hands, or sometimes they don't get that dirty and you could just use the hand gel or a big, the antibacterial wipe super quick in the car. But I always have people ask me why I don't wear these because you guys don't understand how many dumpsters we actually check every single time we go. Anywhere between 20 and 35 dumpsters. If we were to find stuff in every dumpster or even just to look in the dumpster and put a pair of these on, each of us, Beth and myself, that's a lot of gloves that are going straight into the landfill, which is what I'm trying to keep so much stuff from the landfill. So why would I just add a pair of gloves at each dumpster to the landfill. That's so many gloves that's not needed when you can literally just wash your hands. <laughs> like some people get so angry. They're my hands, don't worry about it. They're not your hands. Some people are concerned, which that is nice, thank you. But if I find gloves, I will use them. So yes, Beth and I will use these now, but I'm never gonna buy gloves to add to the landfill. So, just say it. <laughs> All right, what else do we got in here? Some Dayquil Severe Vapo Cool Cold and Flu. 
Medicine is always a great donation. They don't care if it's expired. It doesn't matter to them because it's still good for up to a year after its Best Buy date. Medicine is. Three more bottles of Dayquil. These are some good grab bags. Heck yeah. Oh, I lied. Two more. Day care. <laughs> Day care. Oh God. Day what is it? Why can't I think of it? Day quill. I said day care. Good Lord in heaven. You guys know what I mean. Silver nail polish. They threw it away because the bottom there is, see how it's chipped right there? Not a big deal. It's not leaking, so still good. Oh, this is for the Vibe speaker. Last but not least, we got a bunch of the Starlight mints, so I'll take all those out of the bag. And I'll put them all in a Ziploc bag. That way I can donate them like that. Moving on to grab bag number two. We got some ranch fries. A couple bags of those. Two, three, four bags of those. We got a bunch of the Dollar General Health brand daytime cold and flu relief. So we got three boxes right there. Four, five, six, seven. And like I said, those are amazing. Eight, nine, donations. They are always asking for medicine, so. More ranch fries, a soft baked oatmeal raisin cookie. And these have seen better days, so we're not gonna donate those. Another soft baked raisin, oatmeal raisin cookie. A chocolate chunk cookie. And one more oatmeal raisin cookie. And that, my friends, is all of the stuff from the grab bag. The next dumpster you guys seen us have luck at was Staples. Oh my word. Guys, I, can you even believe how much was in that dumpster? I mean, seriously. It was like the dumpster that never ended. <laughs> Beth was in so much shock. She just kept saying every single thing that she was seeing. <laughs> She's like, pistachio, Snickers, Reese's, Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I have to say that is probably other than the $1 general dumpster we found that was literally filled with cookies, drinks, granola bars, and pop tarts not too long ago. I'll try and link that up there. I'll put it in a card in the sky, the eye in the sky, as they say. Um, this has to be the second craziest score of candy, snacks, stuff like that, that we have found by far. Because these aren't just normal size bags. These are industrial size because staples, it's for office buildings, break rooms, vending machines, stuff like that. So the candy and the snacks things that they have are all like the same size you would get at like Sam's Club or Costco. So it's straight crazy. So I'm going to shut up and let's show you everything we got from Staples. We got not one, not two, not three, but four, 24 packs of the chocolate covered pretzels called Flips. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. We got, I don't even know how many, but a big old pile of these Hatch Green Chili Strive like beef sticks. We also got a bunch of the air dried beef, smoked sliced Strive beef jerky. We got the original Strive beef jerky, a bunch of bags of those as well. So that's a lot of beef jerky. Seven bags of the Albanese um, sour gummy bears, four bags of the original gummy bears, eight bags of the gummy worms, Eight bags of the Sour Bright, Sour Bright Crawlers. Actually, there's nine. My Ava and Kylie took a bag upstairs. Eight bags of the Very Berry Crawlers. Three party size bags of Lifesavers. <laughs> These are heavy. These are like five pounds. Three pounds. Three pounds, two ounces. Two party size bags of the individually wrapped lightsabers in the Peppo Mint flavor. Again, three pounds, two ounces. Four little Power Up Mega Omega Trail Mix packs. Three Power Up Protein Packed Trail Mix 
packs and I'm dropping them. <laughs> we got a 24 pack of the AHA blueberry and pomegranate sparkling water plus one can. One single can of the citrus and green tea flavor. One big bag of berry fruit snacks. One three pound, 12 ounce bag of Jolly Ranchers, which my husband is addicted to Jolly Ranchers. He asks me to buy him a bag like every week. <laughs> so I don't gotta buy him a bag for quite some time. One chair pack of Reese's Thins. Six family size bags of almond M&Ms. Two family size bags of peanut M&Ms. Two family size regular plain milk chocolate M&Ms. This is just crazy. <laughs> this whole freaking dining room. What room am I in? This whole game room is packed to the roof. It's crazy. Six family size, what is this? Dark chocolate M&Ms. Six of those. Two of the party size minis, which has 135 pieces of all of these candy bars. I have another bag right there on my couch. Six Kit Kat minis unwrapped. Six bags of those. Two party packs of the Hershey Nuggets assortment. Two of those. Getting to the end now. We have five canisters of these original gourmet premium cookies. Two 20 packs of Cheez-Its. Two savory 20 packs of the assortment of, they have mini Ritz, Rich Chips, Cheese Nips, and Wheat Thins. Oh God, where am I gonna sit now? <laughs> Three 18 pack variety packs of Pringles. Three packs of those. Two boxes, each has 24 bags of the sweet and salty trail mix. Two of those. Running out of room, guys. Two six packs of brownie brittle, the chocolate chip. Two variety packs, 80 pieces each of Skittles, Lifesaver gummies, and Starbursts. This, oh, this was my weakness, guys. So you guys know I'm addicted to gummy bears, right? Only Haribo gummy bears. Well, your girl's trying to lose a little bit of weight. And I realized I got to cut back on that Dr. Pepper and those gummy bears. So I have not bought a bag of gummy bears in about two weeks. Wouldn't you know it, what do I find in the dumpster? <laughs> two huge boxes. How many are in here? 54 in each box. Why? <laughs> I'm donating both of these. I'm not even going to keep them. At least I'm gonna try. <laughs> Four nine packs of pistachios. So uh, I couldn't even imagine how much this would have cost, how much they threw out. I, it had to have been hundreds of dollars, hundreds. Because these bags of candy, these big packs of chips, these are not cheap. So they literally threw away hundreds of dollars in the dumpster. Crazy. Two miniature party size Reese's cups and Kit Kats. Almost done, guys. Two 90 piece assorted mini bags, all with those candy bars in them. And last, but definitely not least, because I love me some M&Ms. <laughs> we got two 60 piece bags of the variety mini packs of M&M's. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Is that not crazy guys? I mean, I just cannot even believe it. I am still in utter shock. I really am. I swear, no matter how long I have been dumpster diving, it never ceases to amaze me the things we find in the dumpsters. Never, ever. But that is all guys. That, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for hanging out with us at the dumpsters and me today in this crazy reveal. Beth and I will be back at those dumpsters very soon. So be on the lookout for another video coming at you guys soon. Of course, we will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time, guys, happy diving.